Baker, Citadel Defense. Uh, so this is part four. This is the last part I'm going to have here, as far as I know, about this uh, series of these red flag orders and, and how to deal with them, what we should do, and how we should really manage that. Uh, we talked about what they are. We talked about being politically active, which, again, that is the best thing to do here. Um, third option was we talked about uh, standing your ground. You know, just forget it. I'm, I'm going out guns blazing. Uh, and, and this last option, which I think, if all else fails... I think this would be the most uh, wise course of action. So, uh, I've been reading, or rereading, I should say, The uh, Art of War recently by Sun Tzu. And uh, there are two quotes that I, th I think from Sun Tzu that, that stand out here. Uh, one is, all warfare is deception. Right? All warfare is deception. And the second one is, if your enemy is stronger than you, evade him. Okay? So, those are, those are my two kind of guideposts. That I'm, that I'm using here, uh, and, I, and I call this strategy the delay, deceive, evade. The delay, deceive, evade. Delay, deceive, evade. That, that's that's my kind of thought line here. So I think it goes something like this: uh, They show up to your house at at five in the morning to take your guns away because your coworker heard you had them and he doesn't feel safe knowing that someone in his office owns guns and he sends the police to take your guns away, right? So. <clears throat> To ways to delay, deceive, evade, right? And you need to obviously be prepped ahead of time. But the first thing uh, is you could just have a really, really expensive, strong safe. Your guns are in there, and you're not giving out the combination. Right now, you'll get arrested, and there'll be legal proceedings. And I'm not, I'm not a lawyer, I'm not telling what to do. But I'm saying, look, that could just be option one. Uh, safe's not opening; it is closed. Only I know the combination. I'm not telling anybody, and uh, we'll go to court and get this figured out. And and that's a way to delay right you're delaying how, how they're gonna be able to access your guns because if that's a really nice safe and it's bolted to the floor maybe they're gonna come in with uh, sledgehammers and jackhammers eventually to, to work it out but I guarantee you they didn't show up to your house with the jackhammer right so that's a way to delay right you can have a really secure place where your guns are that they can physically cannot access they cannot physically get to your guns right that's a way to delay uh, deceive. So this is where things like uh, operational caches come in. Uh, this is where things with not having all your eggs in one basket, right? So maybe you have a couple guns at your house. You have a couple at a, a buddy's house. Maybe you have a couple buried in a, in a nice box in a field somewhere, right? Like you have different stores so that if they show up to your house at 5 in the morning, you don't have to make that decision of I'm going to stand my ground or not because you can let them take those guns because you know you have other equipment elsewhere. Right, I mean, I mean, tactically, right? When the the bad guys or whoever, right, is at your place of of, of your house or your place of abode or whatever, that is not tactically the place to get into a firefight, right? You always want to choose the the, the place of battle, uh, and when they're all stacked up to come into your house to take your guns away, uh, not to mention those are other Americans who just want to go home to see their wife and kids, right? They might not even agree with your order. So think about that for a second. Uh, they might even agree with the order to take your guns. Just, just think about that. It, it is much, uh, I would say, wiser, right? The, when the enemy is stronger than you, of evade him. And at that point, the enemy is stronger than you, right? So how can you evade? And I think one of those ways is to, okay, well, you know, come on in. You can take whatever. And obviously you don't tell, oh, and I have some buried out in a field out west, right? But you have different eggs in different baskets so that it's spread out. This is not a new concept. I'm not the first one to come up with this. So that you don't have you so that you don't have to pick that fight right there, right then. So those are ways that I think you can definitely delay, deceive, and evade. Now just to be clear, lying to the police is always a crime all the time, I'm pretty sure in every state. You can never lie to the police. So I'm not telling you to lie to the police. But but I am telling you to uh, think about having strategies other than guns a blazing. Right? That there has to be a different way to outthink the people who want to take your freedom away. And that, that's really what wins uh, self-defense scenarios. That's really what wins uh, wars on the large scale is when you outthink the other guy. And so that, that's what I'm inviting us to do here. Uh, look, like I said, I, I my heart gravitates towards the from my cold dead hands. You want my guns, come and take them. Uh, that being said, I want to be smarter than anyone else who hates freedom. right? I want to be smarter than people who are trying to limit my rights. I want to outthink them. And I think that is where we are going to ultimately win the war. We'll win the battle, we'll win the war when we start outthinking other people. So, 
be smart, think about it. Maybe, I hope this maybe uh, pushes you to take some advanced preparations. If, if you live in a, a state with red flag laws, if you don't, like I said, uh, keep it that way, right? The, the place to win here, guys, the place we're gonna outthink them is when it comes to being politically active in your state to eliminate these things at, at the legislative level so it's not even an issue. Um, that being said, as we get deeper into this beast and, and the Democrats keep trying to push to control your life, uh, we need to start thinking of alternate strategies to continue to outthink them, right? So, do brave deeds, endure. If you got any more thoughts or comments on that, I'd love to hear it because I'm, like I said, I'm continuing to think through this. I'm, I'm always kind of thinking on this and I'm not super afraid any of this is happening tomorrow. That being said, uh, it never hurts to be prepared. Leave a comment, love to hear from you. Like I already said, do brave deeds, endure.